just going to carry on talking <laughs> to myself to get it out. Um, but I just wanted to document for myself how, um, well, just what sort of realizations were coming when I was singing earlier. And it was funny because I was listening first to really loud music. Actually, I'll just turn this down. chair over then. Um, yeah, anyway, I was listening to it really loudly first, and then it started speaking to me, you know, like I've said before, you know, you get your little messages through different ways, and and then I was like laughing to myself, thinking that, you know, it's like, this is what I'm always saying, you know, it's like it's all within, like the computer, the generator, the projector, like, your experience is like, it's like, we are all one. You're alone, you know. It's like your soul that you've got to be true to. So, you know, it's all within. Anyway, I was... So, as the words were speaking to me, I was thinking, well, where's this coming from? Is it coming from God? Is it coming from a higher self? And it's like, it's coming from your soul, really, which I don't know if it's your over soul or whatever, but it's it's like... Everybody's experiences are so different. And when you listen to people online, sometimes, and you know, this is why I try and be honest and just get my shit off my chest during my videos because it's like you can see people's own psyche unraveling during their YouTube videos, not in a way that they need cutting off to the mental home or anything like that, but you know, in, in a way that people always subtly project because no one's healed and we're all healing these past traumas and it's really easy to see people's hang up sometimes so it's much better you know to just be honest about it and just be like oh this is the way I am you know like I've talked about me being rageful and you know it's just um deep shame and hatred of myself you know that's 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 the manifestation of um and you know victimhood and it you know, obviously you go through the stages where you look back over your life and you acknowledge things, address things, you know, take responsibility of how you've allowed that feeling to become you. And it's all about shedding that, but you know, it's like, when I was, when I was singing earlier, and I've said this before in one of my earlier videos, because I was thinking all about this, about how I'm not as free as I think I am in terms of being and how hard it is to sit in silence and sit within your own skin and I did a video last week and it didn't post in the end and I'm really glad because it was a bit too smug you know because I'd obviously not integrated what I'd written down as like oh you know look how wise I am you know I'm not actually I wasn't personifying it in the slightest it was just you know it was almost instruction for me and um yeah so that didn't work but what I was talking about in that video was how it was last Wednesday actually, um, how I tried to sit with myself in complete silence and just, you know, how difficult it was and how it took me about an hour to at least be able to sit without any music on um, uh, and, you know, even meditation music or something like that. It's so hard to just sit in the silence. But once I pushed past all that twisty awkwardness of, you know, your own egos and your own layers, you know, stopping yourself from facing your inner truths about yourself. Um, I got there and it was just like, <sighs> it's just really difficult for everybody to stay in that pureness of your soul that you don't remember since being a kid. It's like, kids don't care. It's, you know, I just looked at the video I just posted a minute ago and um, I'm like, oh my, I'm looking at myself and I'm going, your fucking mouth looks all twisted. Like people used to call me Joker from Batman because my twisted up mouth and you know, I've got shit teeth and all that. And, and then I'm like, all these voices, you know, the internal bits and they're going, um, you know, it's the shames like, oh, who do you think you are talking? Or like, you look like shit or, 
and it's just not needed. Like kids don't care how they look, do they? When when how old do you get when you start giving a shit? I'm sure it's much younger these days with a push of fucking materialism and sexualization and shit, but I don't imagine that like a ten year old would really give too much about the way they look. It wouldn't affect the way they act, the way they look. That's you know, that's extra layers of shit the older you get. But it's this is the type of stuff we're trying to heal. It's like I've got like we all have, you know, so many layers of ego, like and to get into that place where I got finally the other night after a very uncomfortable hour, um, but when I was singing earlier for half an hour, was actually no thought of anybody else, no thought of people pleasing. I kept, every so often I caught myself singing quieter and it was because I had a fleeting thought about if they could hear me through the walls either side or, and then giving a shit or not, you know, I kept flipping in and out of just being, you know, at one with the universe or connected to source or whatever anyone says, it's a feeling that comes from you, it's like your heart and it, it comes up and anyway as I was singing and I was listening to the vibration and I feel obviously this was like a, a thing that I was creating with my own psyche so you know I hesitate to say vision but it was like visions of like um how this you know gold like buzzy light comes out of you when you make a pleasing sound to the to the universe to the environment and it joins up with this grid of like you know, positivity, and it feeds back to you this feeling. Um, and, you know, that's probably not just singing, but co-creating and contributing in some positive way and not just leeching and sucking or projecting crap. And it's easier said than done, isn't it? But singing really helps. And I always say this, but I don't do it enough. Like, I walk around with my headphones in, enjoying the music, forgetting the fact that... I don't enjoy singing because I want to be a singer. I think deep down I'd like that, but I don't think I'm that good. But what I mean is what it does to yourself is so incredible. Like, it's something that I must do more to feel that nothingness, that no um, awareness of others' perceptions of me and just giving, and it's like, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, it's like, oh God, it was just so weird. And it was like, I think that's like what we're supposed to do, you know, in terms of creating. It's like, it whatever it is that you're doing needs to be given in a way that feels so good when it comes back, you know, the instant exchange of that energy. And it's so healing. But then, you know, during those times, because they don't last forever, they don't for me, you know, I was thinking earlier, I wish I could be one of those people that, like, you know, can shut the door and just completely feel at home in my own skin and take my... I've, I've still got my fucking trainers on and it's nearly bedtime, look. You know, like, I'm so still, I'm still so uncomfortable in my own skin. And I've come a long way, but acknowledging that is just truth. It's like, I had half an hour earlier when the kids had gone and I genuinely felt like no one else mattered in the world but me for that half an hour. And I wasn't, you know, playing a role for anyone but myself. Oh, and then, you know, it's like, I'm not in that now because I'm talking. So subconsciously I'm thinking, Oh, don't talk too much shit, don't do, 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 do. you know, all these fucking conditions that you put on yourself. God, we're mental, aren't we, as humans? But yeah, no, it's just, it's like, all for yourself. Everybody's individual and everybody's got their own opinions, but it's really funny watching YouTube videos sometimes because it's like, it's like real time watching how someone's interpreting their own psyche in my opinion, you know, everything from space to aliens to ascension to astral projection and dreams and all that. It's like, this is all just individual interpretations and you can get shared experience which creates movements or theories, but really it's just how your mind is interpreting your energy. 
and then someone speaks it and you know that's that's their contribution that's their opinion you know but everybody takes everybody else's shit so seriously i don't mean and they don't take mine seriously i just mean you know we all just buy into fucking someone else's shit when you should be buying into your own shit Oh, bloody hell. I think that's probably why people talk about discernment on YouTube, because it's like, really, that's what it is. You're just watching someone else's mind interpret their own unravelling of the self and their ego. It's pretty funny, really. Anyway, what else have I got to say? Ten minutes, right, I'll just add this little bit on. I might do another bloody video. I might not. Self-indulgent bitch, eh? Um, yeah, just this uh, little idea that me and the kid's dad had years ago, actually. I think originally it was his idea, I just made it better. But anyway, and it was for a place to be in every city, and it, he, he named it the Mo Dojo Dojo, which I don't think is a great name, but anyway. But the idea of this place is where you go when you're feeling rageful or bottled up and you just need to get some energy out, and it's not like... You don't want to go singing and dancing and getting judged or, you know, you don't want to be thinking about the shell, the external. So anyway, this place, you can, there's like a few rooms and, um, you know, for men, there's probably like a car that you can just beat the shit out of for as long as you want until that feelings come out and punch bags. Women can smash some plates. How, how gender um, stereotypical is that? But, you know, anyway, you can just get your age out then you go and have 20 minutes chat with someone who's like really empathic and genuinely interested in what you're going to say and they listen to you for 20 minutes maybe longer I've been talking for 12 already um, anyway and then on the way out you just got some really really pumping powerful uplifting music there's nobody else around you and it's like a mile long corridor that you walk through alone with this loud music on and you can sing and dance knowing that nobody's watching you for this whole mile and then you get out and you're like oh and it could just be you know just like a, a crisis center even that's how it could start off someone's having like a mental breakdown it's like take them to the moto dojo yeah it'd be fucking great wouldn't it because that's what we need to express to sing or to run or whatever but creating energy positive energy from the heart no matter how you do that whether you're dancing or loving your kids or painting a picture writing a poem or nothing just being you but having joy in that that is the more you do that the more you receive but we just don't want to admit all our fucking flaws do we as humans we all think we're right and we are all right because it's all for us from us for us fucking hell anyway 13 bloody minutes hope everyone's having a nice um wednesday <gasps>